Şey hayırlı olsun, mükemmel değil mi? Ne cahil ha? Ne cahil. Ama ne fuşa zaten, ama eydin müşeti gibi bir zeyet o şahadet ritesi. Ne yaşıyorsun o zaman? Ama tabi şimdi I saw the swordfish. Let me talk to your boss. Restaurants, fish shops, they pay huge amount when it's close season. Like. The guys are not happy. This picture did how what? Çeşitli duyuk ber palak. みなさんこんにちは。映画パーソナリティの伊藤さとりです。毎回映画でお世話になっている俳優の方や監督の方と最新映画について、そしてゆるーく映画話をする伊藤さとりと映画の仲間たち。さあ今回はですね特別編ということでご紹介する6月24日金曜日公開になりますルッツ海に生きるを皆様にいろいろとお話ししたいと思います。この作品なんですけれどもオールマルタロケなんですよね。そしてマルタ映画が日本初上陸という話題作になっていますなんと今回マルタよりオンラインでつながっている方がいらっしゃいますよこの方ですご紹介しましょうルッツ海に生きるからアレックス・カミレーリ監督ですよろしくお願いしますナイトミートーさあ通訳のです遠藤さんにいろいろとお世話に投げりながらお話を進めていきたいと思いますまずね素晴らしい作品どうもありがとうございます Thank you very much あの今回マルタ映画っていうのを初めて日本で見たわけなんですけれどもいつ頃からマルタを舞台に映画を撮ろうと思われたのか教えていただいていいですか Well, thank you Satori, it's a pleasure to be speaking with you today Uh, the film, you're right, is set in Malta, and、um, my parents emigrated from Malta, and I grew up in the United States. But it was always a dream of mine to tell stories in Malta. It's a very interesting film. 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 漁師の方だったっていうのが驚きだったんですよね。撮影のために何か気を使った点とかございますか。Okay, yes, I, I cast real fishermen in the lead roles.、Um, you know, because I believed it would be easier to train a fisherman to act than to train an actor to become a fisherman.、Um, but it meant that I, I needed to develop a very specialized process to turn Jez, Mark, and David. Into performers. So instead of showing them a script, I would meet with the fishermen and describe a rough scenario. And then I would give each man an objective and invite him to improvise the dialogue in order to achieve his goal in the scene. And then I would record these. Improvisations with a small camera, and then edit the scene together, and then write the script based on the filmed scene. And so I kind of describe it like making a film backwards, but、um, that's what worked for us. And, and I think it's why、um, the performance feels very natural because everything was developed closely with the fishermen. 面白いですねあの是枝裕和監督も実はあの子役を演出する時にそういうやり方なんですよねあえて脚本にこう書き込むんではなくてその場で感じさせるっ
っていうふうにも聞いたことがあるんですけどこれっていうのはもう最初から思いついてたんですか Yes, it was、um, inspired by、um, Correa san, of course,、um, especially his work with children, which is fantastic. And,、um, and other, other filmmakers also、um, use this technique, and it, gets, it can get、um, interpreted in different ways around the world. And I thought it would work in Malta as well. しかもあの漁師が子供を持ってこうお金が必要だからこそ仕事を選ぶことになるというエピソードがすごくリアルだったんですよね。この発想はどこから来たんでしょうか Well, I think the first reason is that my research with fishermen told me that many of these men were really conflicted about Whether they would pass on their trade to their own children. And so it seemed like it was a very powerful emotion for the fishermen. And I wanted to explore that in the film the relationship between parents and children. あと印象に残っているのがあの何よりも赤ちゃんの足形をこう船につけるあれももしかしてこう何かリサーチした上で知ったことなんですか、um, ?It was inspired by reality, but in a different way.、Um, so, my father,、um, every summer,、uh, there's a, a, a wall,、um, an, an outside wall next to our garage made of cement. And every summer he had to apply new cement. And as children, we would put our hands in the cement. And then the next summer, you would look at your own hand and, and see how much you, know, you had grown. And so it was my way of making something personal, but adjusting it to the, the world of the fishermen and what would they do with the boat. I was in the sea. こうルッツがこう浮かんでいるシーンで上から撮ってる素晴らしくこう色合いの美しいシーンが大好きなんですよ。It's a beautiful boat and the boat is an, an icon for the, the Maltese people and the, and the country. So、uh, as a filmmaker, it was a very powerful image and it was filled with so much meaning and、uh, gave me a A way to make a very uniquely Maltese story. Yeah, Masani Taksan Ego Mitter Kantok Dakara Kosoda to Motan de Sune. Nanika Eko Keta Kantok de Rasharan Deska? We spoke about、uh, Koreda, who's、uh, an inspiration in, in so many ways.、Um, and I know for Koreda, of course, he、um, studied the filmmaker Ozu, who I love as well. and In my film, there is some influence of Ozu.、Uh, so I'm, I'm indebted in, in different ways to, to Japanese、uh, cinema. But in this film, the Malta is a very important thing. I think Malta is a very beautiful place、um, uh, physically, meaning the, the land and the sea are very beautiful. But in my film, I also wanted to express different k i n d of beauty the, the language and the, the culture and the history and, and the people. And so I hope、uh, people who see the film、um, can maybe fall in love with Malta in new and deeper ways. Beautiful point, do you think? It's a good thing. Do you think it's a good t h i n g Tough question. <laughs> well, I love the capital city, Valletta, which is a very beautiful、uh, city built inside of a fortress. And I think that the, the south of the island, which is where we filmed a lot of Lutsu, is also very beautiful、um, because it's、uh, rustic and And、um, expresses the past of the island a little bit more. 
マルタに行ったらルッツに乗れるんですか Yes, and not only that, but we'll have Jesmark、uh, take you for a ride himself. すごいじゃあ,あのお魚料理も食べられるんですかね Oh, we have to. We have to try it. And it's、uh, the best fish is、um, if you know a, a fisherman. So he'll get, get you something very fresh. And、um, I think we can, we can find some fishermen to help us. いいですね。すごいなんかね、マルタの人たちもフレンドリーなんだなって思ったんです。さてちょっとここで、はい、番組からのお知らせがあります。ジャパンケーブルキャストが送るオリジナルの旅番組、極旅。今回の舞台はなんと映画と同じマルタなんです。番組史上初となる海外ロケに挑戦。マルタの定番スポットをはじめ日本のメディア初出しとなる最新情報など内容盛りだくさん映画にも登場した港町マルサシュロックも登場しますよマルタの魅力がいっぱいですこちらもぜひ皆さん見てくださいねさあそれではですねルッツ海に生きる最後に監督からメッセージお願いしますこんにちは Hello, my name is Alex k e m i l e r i I'm the writer and director of the film Lutsu.、Um, it's a pleasure to、uh, present the film to you.、Uh, this is the very first Maltese film released in Japan. So、uh, for me, that's a great honor. And it's、uh, a credit to our partners at Arc Films for discovering the film and, and bringing it to you. So, I hope you enjoy seeing a bit of Malta and the world of traditional Maltese fishermen. In this film, the fishermen are actually played by real fishermen. So,、um, I hope you enjoy、uh, this experience with our, our fishermen, and maybe one day、uh, you'll visit Malta and get to enjoy a piece of fish caught by one of these guys. But until then, enjoy the film, and I can't wait to hear what you think. ありがとうございました。皆さんもぜひ映画館に足を運んでくださいね。今回のゲストはアレックス・カミレーリ監督でした。ありがとうございました。Thank you very much. ありがとうございます。サトリ、Thank you so much。